most of the kids we have here will tell us that they started using in middle school. Ari Chelly is the CEO of an addiction treatment program called Ten High, which stands for There's No Hero in Heroin. And unlike previous generations, she says a teenager's drug experiment in this age of fentanyl can be deadly. So today, taking one pill that's laced with fentanyl uh, can, kill some, can kill an adolescent, and they don't know where they're buying from because they have access to technology where they can purchase from. And it has the attention of local law enforcement. If you look at 2023, DEA sees 78 million pills um, compared to 2022 where we seize 58 million. So I think our law enforcement efforts are there, but we realize this has to be a multi-pronged approach. We can't just simply arrest our way out of the problem. Sadly, the increase in drug seizures hasn't curbed drug-related deaths in Southern Nevada. Based on the most recent data from the medical examiner's office analyzed by the DEA, drug-related deaths rose in Clark County by a staggering 66% from 2022 compared to just the first nine months of 2023. Most involved methamphetamines followed by fentanyl. The DEA telling News 3 in part, its intelligence specialists found a significant spike in Clark County and the rate of these deaths was higher in all 10 metro area commands. Both DEA and its local law enforcement partners like Metro say they're making more arrests and it kept 2023 from being even worse. Lieutenant Eileen Burnett in charge of Metro's narcotics unit says her team is also helping prosecutors by putting some teeth into charges if someone dies from an overdose. We are really going after these fentanyl traffickers. Uh, that is our whole goal, and we are putting charges on them where we're charging them with second-degree murder. Uh, if we have somebody who is uh, killed by fentanyl, 